Hi there, so today we're going to look at the shipping costs. So we're going to look at each individual product having its own shipping price. So if you first off go to your seller profile, and then from there we're going to go to the top tabs there and we're going to click on shipping. Okay, once on shipping, we're going to make sure that this um, enabled shipping cost is ticked. So that will enable the shipping cost onto your product. We're going to leave the default shipping price at zero. Um, this price is for if somebody buys uh, more than one item from your, sh your shop. Um, that's an additional price they can add on top. And this is if it's the same product that they're buying, but they're buying more than, more than one. So if they bought two of the same product, you can add an extra pound on or 50p, um, whichever, whichever you'd like. This is your processing time, so the time it takes for you to either make product, ship the product out and get it to the customer. And then underneath we've got our shipping policies and our refund policies. And here we're shipping from the United Kingdom. So in here we're going to add a shipping zone. So if we just click add shipping zone, we're going to call the shipping zone the UK. And then we're going to select the region, the United Kingdom. And then in here under shipping methods, we're going to add in the flat rate. So if you just keep on the flat rate and click add shipping method. Once in there, you can click back on flat rate. And in the top here, we're recommending that you put in your shipping and um, the time it takes to get the product to the customer. So if we pop that in there as the title. Down here, you'll see there's different shipping classes. So there's one to ten and there is a couple of uh, standard first class letters and second class letters uh, also. So in these, you decide the cost so for example if you want to do shipping class you're going to have it at one pound and then shipping class two you're going to have it at two pounds so you've got two different shipping classes there and then if we scroll down to the bottom we've got calculation type so in here you can either have um the shipping the charge shipping for each shipping class individually or you can swap it for the most expensive shipping class so if you keep it at whichever one you want, um, you can either have it so that if the products, the shipping is more expensive for one product, you keep it just at that one, or that one you can have just an individual shipping class. So we'll save the changes on that one. And then it'll come up with your options saved at the top there. And so it's saved. So now we're going to go through into our products so we can add the shipping classes onto our individual products. Okay, so now you're in your products and the list of products. We're going to select the, uh, the first product that we want to put the shipping price onto. Okay, so once on here, we're going to scroll down. We've got general where you put your price in. And under here, we've got shipping. And here, we can do the shipping class. So we're going to select shipping class 1 for this one. And then we're going to go back up to the top and just update there at the top. Okay, and then that's now updated. So we're going to go in and view our product in the store. Okay, now we're in the store. We're going to uh, check the shipping price works. So we're going to add it to the basket. And then we're going to wait for it to add to the basket there. And we're going to view cart. Okay, and when we scroll down, we can see that it says one to two weeks. And then it says the pound there. So we're just going to try another product just to show that it works with the different shipping costs. So we'll go, we'll take this product out of our basket and we'll go back up into our dashboard. Once back on here, we'll go into our products. Okay, and this one we're going to try something a little different. So we're going to go on to this one, which is a varied product. So it's got two different types that you can have. So on this one, it's the colour and it changes. So we're just going to load that. Once that's loaded, we're just going to go down to our product. And we're going to click on the variations this time, not the shipping. We're going to click on the variations. And now the variations have loaded. We're going to go on to that and change the shipping. Now, as you can see for this one, it does say same as parent. But they in individually have to have their own shipping class currently. So we're going to change this one to shipping class 1. And then we're going to change this one to shipping class 2. We're going to save those changes. Okay, now those save changes are saved. We're going to go up to the top and we're going to do update. 
then we're going to go into view product. Okay, so once in here we're going to select the first one and pop it into our basket. I'm just going to view the basket. And as you can see that was our first shipping class which was the pound. And then we're going to remove that from our basket and we're going to go and look for the other one. So now we're back on to the product. We're going to select the second option and add that to basket. And then view cart again. And as you can see there, it's now two pounds because the second one was the second shipping class. So you can have different shipping classes on different variable products, or you can have it on different products, but as long as you put in the right amount in each shipping class. If you do need to make a change to the price of the shipping class, um, this, current, this currently isn't working, so we need to make sure that you change it in a new shipping class. So if I just go in and show you. Go on to the seller profile and then go through into shipping. And we go back onto our shipping class. So you've decided that this one needs to now be three pounds. We recommend that you pop it into a new shipping class and put three pounds and change your product to the right shipping class. So that changes that. We recommend that you um, check your products before publishing them so that, you, that the shipping price is working correctly. Um, and that's everything. Thank you very much.